Hey guys, this is Pharaoh2091, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Danganronpa 2. Last time we left off, we not we made not only one body discovery, but two of them. And uh, we kind of saw, well, I guess, Miyota committing suicide. And then we've later found Sionji, like, her throat cut and tied, like, you know, tied to a pillar. That's so not cool. And, you know, I'm starting to think about this case a little bit. I, I'm, I'm starting to think that, um... There's no way Mio just willingly did suicide, or if it was even her that we saw in the beginning of the video, because it cut off right at the end. So I'm sure it's gonna play somewhere um, during a class trial. But for the time being, we have a lot to investigate. So let's go ahead and continue. So let's first take a look at uh, her body. Miyoto's Mio body is just laying on the stage. She's still wearing that same hospital gown. Hmm. What's that on her slippers? I didn't notice it when she was hanging, but the soles of her slippers are dirty. Um, is that blood? But she doesn't seem to be wounded, which means this is someone else's blood. Hmm, I wonder who it belongs to. Hey, Hinata, do you have a second? You found Miyoto's body before you ran to us at the motel earlier, right? Yeah, well, she had a bag over her head, so I, don't, I didn't know if it was her at the time. But I could tell just by looking that she was dead. There was rope around her neck. Well, that means Miyota was already dead before Sionji was tied to the pillar. Well, that's good to know. I mean, the Monokuma file doesn't say what the times of death are at this time. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be able to tell which, some, which, 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 uh, which of them died first. Uh, he's right. The Monokuma file don't, does, doesn't say anything about when they died. But it's easy to figure out what Miyota did. I mean, I saw with my own eyes. I saw her climbing that stepladder on the monitor. I'm sure that right after that. But wait! If Miyota died after climbing the stepladder, does that mean it was suicide? No. That can't be right. I mean, Sionji was killed after that. If Miyota took her own life, how could that be? They can't be separate incidents. That would be too much of a coincidence. Yeah. I'm starting to think that what we saw in the monitor really wasn't the suit, like, a suicide. But, we'll see. Sionji's body is tied to a pillar on the side of the stage. There's packing tape around the entire pillar, keeping her in that pose. Who the hell could do something like this? The Monokuma file said her throat was slit. There's tape around her neck right now, so there isn't much blood around it. Hmm? What's up with her kimono, though? It's all disheveled, and the obi is tied on the front for some odd reason. Is that the culprit's doing? More importantly, when was she even killed? When I found Miyoto's body, Sionji wasn't there at all. And that means... She must have been killed while I was at the motel getting help. But that couldn't have taken more than 10 minutes. Is it even possible to kill someone in time to a pillar in such a short time? Even if it is possible, it's not something anyone, just anyone could do. Only people who don't have an alibi for that time. Oh, Hinata, do you have a second? No, go away. I don't mean to get in your way, but there's something I really want to help with. What is it? Take a look at Sionji's kimono. There's a strange bulge in the chest area. I think she might be hiding something under there. Wait. By help, you mean you want me to reach under there and see what it is? Sure, would that be a problem? I can see how it, how it might be one if she was still alive, but she's dead now. It's not a big deal. Are you for real? Do you really think it's okay just because she's dead? <laughs> fine, fine. If you, don't, if you won't do it, I'll find someone who will. Hey, Owari! What do you want? Um, I was wondering if you can help with something. I think there's something under Sionji's kimono. Can you reach under it and check? Hmm? I don't really get it, but if all you want me to do is search her, then fine. Well, thank you! See how great it is when we all help each other? Hmm, let's see. Oh, I reached her hand under Sionji's kimono, and then... Damn it, she's tied up so tight I can't reach very far. Oh, wait! I found something. Is this, is this what you're looking for? Is that a key? It doesn't look like one of the cottage keys. Oh, I see. It must be for her motel room. A key for a motel room? 
Well, if it was so deep in the kimono that Warrior had had trouble getting it out, it means it probably wasn't put there by the culprit. If it was a trap, they'd have put it somewhere easier to reach, where we could spot it immediately. In other words, Sunji must have had her key on her on her from the very beginning. Okay, we got the motel key, so found deep inside Sionji's kimono, removing it, it was difficult. Oh, and there's one more thing. Nothing to do with the key, of course, but uh you seem to be quite perplexed by the state of Sionji's body, Hinata. Well, yeah, how could you not be? There are quite a few mysteries regarding it, I agree. Here, let me suggest one to you. The one I'm most interested in is... The way that the packing tape is wrapped. Doesn't it seem... Doesn't it seem to be like a couple is trying to hide the wound on her neck? What do you mean? I'm not sure what their intentions were, but it's quite a relief for us. The, the investigators, isn't it? The tape acts as sort of a, a bandage, so there's very little blood around. <laughs> Had they just left the body here for after cutting her throat, well, there'd be a sea of blood all over the place. I guess that is a relief. Yeah, if there were two bodies in a sea of blood here, I'd probably be killed over by now. Hmm. Okay. What else is there? Oh, I, apparently this is the noose. The rope. That's the rope that was tied to the lighting rig uh, until a few moments ago. He ought to die from hanging herself with this rope. It seems like a perfectly normal rope. Nothing strange about it. And yet, there's a storage room in this club, but I don't think there was a rope in there. Which means... Is it from the supermarket again? Did someone carry it all the way from over there? In other words, anyone could have gotten this rope. So I don't think we're getting... We're, not, we're gonna get many hints from it. Are you sure about that? Huh? Because I did notice something. Wait, let me confirm my suspicions. Hey, Sumiki! Can you come over here for a second? Um, do you need something? There's something I want to ask you. Miyota definitely died from being hanged using this rope. Is that correct? Yes, there aren't any other wounds, so it's unquestionable that she died by hanging. So Miyota definitely died from hanging. I see. That was obvious when we first found her, though. You weren't here, uh, you weren't here, so you may not know, but she was hanging on the rope when we found her. <laughs> yep, that, there's that too. Well, that's all I needed to hear. Looks like we won't be able to get any clues for this from this rope after all. Let's go look somewhere else. As usual, I haven't gotten a clue what he's up to. And although we don't really like, what's his name, you know, um, Komaida, he's kind of helpful here and there, surprisingly. Uh, what else is there? Hmm, actually... Take a look at his bag. We already had his bag overhead when we found her. Why did she, though? Wait, huh? Now that I'm looking at it close, this bag has Monomi's head printed on it. I guess it's not just any old bag. Hmm, okay. There seems to be some tour, some, some type of drink here. Maybe a Long Island iced tea? Oh, never mind, that's a candle. Whoopsie daisy. A large candle is standing on the very front of the stage. Oh yeah, I forgot the whole, whole lighting thing right there. The dim lighting I saw in the monitor must have been from this candle. It's a very large candle. There's no doubt it could uh, provide enough light, but... Why use a candle when there's so much regular lighting around? Hmm. Okay. Maybe it was like a ceremony? And we also got the stepladder that has a little bit of blood on it, I can already tell. A stepladder has collapsed on the side of its stage. It's the one I saw Miyota climb on the video monitor. Hey, there's blood on it! See? Right here on the left side of the ladder. There isn't much of it, though. Miyota didn't have any wounds on her, did she? Maybe it's Sionji's blood? Well, yeah. What else could it? Can it be? So Sionji's blood is, left, is on the left side of the stepladder. But why? What does it even mean? Who knows? We're just beginning the investigation. We don't know anything. What else is there that I can investigate? Hmm. Let's take a look at this. Next to the stage is a control path for controlling the music club's uh, stage lights. Among other things, it can be used to lower and raise the lighting rig. We used it ourselves when we lowered Miyoto's hanging body down to the stage. Now that I think about it, back when I saw the music club in a, a monitor, there were just so, there was just some dim candlelight. None of the club's, loves, uh, club's lights were used. But why not? There must have been some reason behind it, right? You linger, 
Perhaps you've noticed. Huh? Noticed what? Hmm. Is it is it uh, is it that you cannot see? Or that you do that you do not? What does that even mean? It's the same thing. Above, uh, above us hang uh, contraptions that light the stage, and with them something else that casts no light, and yet may prove illuminating. I kind of turned most of that out, but is there something in the lighting rig? Oh, oh, do you mean this that thing up there? It looks like a black piece of paper. <laughs> hmm, realization dawns at last. We can't really tell what it is from down here, though. Shall we lower the rig again? Ha! Yeah. Huh. What need have we of such a tedium? Come, Mirage Silver Falcon Jumpy! Now is your time to soar! <laughs> Let the majesty of the fourth Dark God's destruction burn into your eyes! Before I even realized what was happening, one of the hamsters had left Tanaka's hand and ran up to the lighting rig. Why oh, are you squeaking a little bit? He immediately began circling the piece of paper with incredible speed. In no time at all, I had fallen down straight into Tanaka's waiting hands. <laughs> Behold, the power affected, afforded the bear of the super high school level of Jeng and I. Wow, that was incredible! Never in my life have I seen a hamster doing tricks before. They are the four dark gods of destruction. Hamsters are a temporary form. So, what's with this paper? Hmm. Impressively thick stock, and yet I sense no curse in inscribed out upon it. Hmm. A waste of time. No, he's got that wrong. This is undoubtedly a clue. For something. I mean, I'm pretty sure this paper doesn't belong in a rig. How it got up there could be important. I'm trying to wonder what the hell it, it could even be from, or... Yeah, nothing's coming to mind just yet. And we also have, it looks like, the uh, control panel. They did say it was really hot. This is a control panel for a club's air conditioning system. Hmm, I can probably control the temperature of the stream using this. Okay, let's try this. It set the 30 degrees? No wonder, no wonder it's so hot in here. I'm assuming it, it's probably Celsius, so yeah. Uh, yeah, that's fairly hot, yeah. Anyway, let's just turn this down. That could be, uh, they, they should make it a, a bit, ugh, that should make it a bit more comfortable in here. Yeah, so... Man, man, what the hell that's all about. What else is there? I guess the stage itself? There's a black curtain hanging at the, uh, at the back of the stage, but it isn't long enough. It doesn't reach the, uh, from one end of the stage to another. That's a pretty shoddy link for a stage curtain, isn't it? It wasn't here before, right? If it was, it would be pretty strange that it doesn't fit. Maybe it's one of the curtains I saw in the supermarket. Yep, that's a temporary fastener adhesive label on the back of it. The supermarket curtains all have it. Did someone drag this curtain all the way from the supermarket? That must have been tough. Well, if they did, it must have been absolutely necessary for the murder. Necessary? How? Who knows? Yeah, I don't. I didn't think we'd be able to just to. Uh, we. Uh, I didn't think we'd be able to just guess. Hmm. So it's like unproportionate lengths. Okay. I'm sure, it's gonna come in somewhere. I think it's all there is at the stage itself. So let's just go ahead and uh, talk to Nanami. Nanami stared at the stage floor with a thoughtful look on her face. Her arms uh, crossed. What are you looking at? Is there something on the floor? No, there's nothing on there, but there's a stain. A stain? It's hard to see, but it's right over here. Oh, yeah. Look very carefully. Hey, you're right. It looks like someone tried to wipe something clean. Wait, that's just not any something. It's blood, isn't it? Well, it's not like it's strange to find blood over here. See, why you had her throat cut just a few steps away? No, the strange thing is why the culprit tried to hide it. Did they? Sure, why would it be clean if they didn't? Why would a culprit want to wipe blood off the floor? The body's right next to it, so it's not like they could hide the murder by cleaning the blood. So, what were they trying to hide? Maybe footprints, handprints, something, I don't know. Okay, so that's all there is right. No, I didn't mean to. I'm about to go, um. I'm about to. Zoom out. There it goes. There's X. There you go. 
See what else we can find here. Uh, what is this anyway? The remains of a wrecked machine are scattered on the floor. Oh, it's the monitor. Well, that was the security camera set. I'm sure of it. Hmm. The prize work for the mechanical one. Destroyed in seconds. How pitiful. Could this be the result of the criminal psychology? What? For example, should a culprit commit murder in front of a camera even if they know it isn't on? Sometimes even the thought of having been recorded is too much for them to bear. And so, they, bake, they break the camera. Hm. The theory is plausible, certainly. So the culprit couldn't handle the thought of possibly being caught on camera, so they broke it? But if that's true, what was it that I saw? So I guess I can explain why the feed got cut off right before the actual hanging occurred. So, there's something in that little time period I'm sure we're going to be able to fi uh, figure out. So let's go ahead and start talking to these people, maybe we can get their testimonies for something. Hey Hinata, take a look at this. Hmm? What is it? Right here on the floor in front of the door. That's a drumstick, isn't it? It's broken though. Why is it even here? It's right in front of the door, which means it's one hell of a clue, isn't it? What makes you think so? Remember what happened when we got to the music club? Oh yeah, uh, we'll have to break in because the door won't open. Yeah, you know, there's four of us here. We have to do it. On my counts, let's go ahead and do it. Now, and I'm going to signal to charge the door. And there you go. When we tried to enter, the door was locked. Then the four of us tried to force it open. But on closer inspection, this door wasn't locked at all. It wasn't? See? The door opens inward. And, a handle, uh, and it has handles shaped like this. It would stick a bar of some kind in them. Get it? It would seem like the door is locked, but it just won't open. So, the drumstick was used instead of a proper bar? It's right here, broken in front of the door. That's proof enough, isn't it? But how did the culprit get away then? What? I mean, there aren't, there aren't any windows in a club. The only way out uh, is this door. If they barred the door from the inside, they would uh, they would be stuck in here. Hmm. How about this? The culprit must still have been in here when we broke into the club. Then they took advantage of our confusion and made it look as if they just came from outside. It's a fairly common trick. You see it in mystery movies all the time. And if that's how they did it, they must have left some kind of clue behind. Right. Let's find it. They won't escape this time. Was the culprit still inside when we broke into the club? I guess it's possible, but... Hold it right there! Nanami, did you just try to make a cool entrance? Ah, uh, yeah, this is, uh, it seems like another Ace Attorney um, reference there. If she was pointing, that would have been amazing, too. Uh, let's see here. That drumstick is interesting, sure, but I found something else. You did? See? There's a strange lamp from the, when the, ugh, where the two, two doors meet. A lump, I meant. Um... Hey, you're right. What is that thing? It's a little too hard to be gum. Yeah, I don't think it is. Nanami uh, crouched next to the door and picked up a piece of a translucent lump. Nom. Did you seriously just put that in your mouth? Mmm. And there's crunching noise. Mmm. It smells like a workshop. A, a what? Then there's texture. I see. It may be a lump now, but that doesn't mean it was one before. For example, it might have been a liquid when solidified, which solidified, which means it might have even been poured into the gap between the doors. What are you talking about? Phew! That tasted terrible. Anatomy spat out the lump and walked away. I don't think its taste matters, but the lump may be some kind of clue, right? So now we have our translucent lump. Found between the two doors in the music club. I don't even know what to say about that because it's like she honestly just oh look um this seems something I can you know eat well so there that was interesting not I mean that's why she's definitely probably, uh, she's one of my favorite characters in, the, in this uh, game right now so oh man yeah I, I still have no idea about this whole entire like case here in terms of uh, who killed who and what happened this one is a little confusing to me, so, but I'm sure as we keep investigating, we'll find out more, but we'll do that in the next episode, guys. So, 
As usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Super Danganronpa 2. I'll see you guys later.